we've, we've heard STEM before, and STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. What I love about STEAM is it puts the arts in there. And so it's an opportunity for us to not overlook our strong arts program that's here. So it's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So with our STEAM program, we will offer a number of courses that are related specifically to high need fields um, like construction, science, health science, education. We'll be training students and adults and offering them a certification. So they'll be able to sit for these exams to earn actual accredited certifications that will make them ready to join the workforce and will serve as a pipeline into higher education, whether that's a two-year degree or a four-year degree. We started with four pathways. So the first pathway was the health sciences pathway, and that was neat. We could think about different um, certifications that we could move our students for to be that gateway either to job or to um, college. Then um, <clears throat> we had cybersecurity, and it was more computer uh, science kind of a pathway. And uh, we had a donor uh, who is a professor of, of computer science at Auburn University that's a friend of Redbird that offered and donated his curriculum and his time and his training. Well, you know, that's interesting. So we thought, let's try that. Uh, we also went out to Somerset Community College and they have a wonderful additive manufacturing program. And they taught us about the value of 3D printing and 3D printing in metals and, uh, and other kind of substances. And what a opportunity that could be towards entrepreneurship. And we could meet a need within our um, 3D printing capabilities. If we could meet a need, maybe it's a small piece uh, that needs to, that that's repairs a bigger uh, uh, machine. Well, hey, let's look into that. Let's see, can we equip our community to be able to do that and make money in that process? Um, the heavy equipment, that was a way that we could uh, prepare our students for, um, for that kind of, of a career. And we have students out in the field right now that, that graduated in 2014, 2015, um, that are doing that. And they're uh, 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 a leader in their class and they got to experience that wonderful program. Well, we want to give our students and our community, maybe they didn't get that experience when they were in school before, Let's talk about it. Let's give them those opportunities um, to learn more about that. Maybe have a simulator that we could get them to actually really experience it and have a relationship with um, the schools close by so that we can pre best prepare our students to be students of theirs someday. I'm from Appalachia, so I have a really soft spot in my heart for the people of Appalachia. And I can see the economy changing all around us. I can see the world changing and I don't want Appalachia to be left behind. So we have to adapt to those changes. Um, one of the ways we can do that, I think, would be to train our youth. And we're seeing a lot of unemployed members of our community, underemployed citizens, uh, displaced workers um, as the industry changes. So our goal is to create an opportunity for those people to not be left behind. They aren't forgotten. We want them to know they are important and they can contribute to society, but that's not always easy to do. So what we wanna do is create that opportunity. They have something in front of them that they can be a part of and it's gonna help them um, earn a living wage, help them provide for their families and just not be forgotten. I'll say that we're interested in bringing STEAM to Redbird because we've always been interested in growing the whole person here at Redbird. You know, we started as a school a hundred years ago, but it's, it's branched out into how can we meet the needs of our indi individual people whole, as whole people and also our whole community. And so in looking at the landscape of, uh, of um, the, the job market in our area um, and the skilled workforce in our area. You know, it's how can we, how can Redbird help? How can we help Kentucky? How can we help our country uh, by better equipping our students? And how can we help our students 
uh, be better equipped for college and career. Uh, you know, being able to provide them stackable certifications um, so that, you know, it's something that they, a skill they might learn that they can use either um, personally or individually and, and go on to um, uh, a two-year school or right into a trade, or it's a skill that will help them earn money as they go into a four-year program. You know, there's just, there's so many ways that we can serve our, 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 our Appalachian students and, 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 all, and our international students as well. How can we give them those skill sets? And STEAM's the way to go.